people should already know you don't need to be around a whole bunch of people to have fun. <laughs> If you are new, do not hesitate to subscribe, the whole spill, leave a comment, all of that. So, um, first I want to say, hey, it's a new episode of Solo Diaries. Today is Friday, um, August the 12th. Is it the 12th? Yeah, the 12th. So, today um, on my agenda, I wanted to go to the park. I wanted to hang out with the park today. But I was trying to find a really nice park, which most parks are nice, but I was just trying to find a particular park, okay? So I'm still searching, but in the meantime, I'm partially dressed. Um, I know I want to go to the market really quick so I can get something because I didn't make anything because I literally need to go to the market again. Um, I didn't make anything to take with me. So I want to get like a juice. I want to get some sushi. I want to get like some chips. Y'all know I love chips. So, um, yeah. And then I want to go to, um, Michael so I can get some acrylic paint. I want to go to Five Below so I can get some more canvases and then off to the park. So for the meantime, I've been charging up my devices. Oh, it's at 40 now. I've been charging my portable charger. Um, I charge my iPad, I charge my headphones, um, of course my phone, so yeah. So we pretty much ready to go. So yeah, I had two strands twist my hair, um, a couple days ago, I just kind of like took it out. I wanted to show y'all because remember when I was telling y'all that, um, the dye that I had been using for some years now, which I, it, it pulled my hair out in front of my eyes. I didn't even really realize it. Because when you have natural hair, typically, depending on what type, mine's is 4C, my shrinkage is real, okay? So I did not even notice that my hair had came out until maybe like a month ago or so. I think it's been over a month now. So, you know, I've been trimming it and everything. But, yeah, I want to show y'all, like, you see how short my bang, my bang was never this short. It was never this short. My bang is short and then all of this is you know it's longer so it was like right here where i noticed that my hair came out and right here like i have this this is two strand twisted still but look at this this right here okay let me do this okay so this right here is this long and then this right here is short so when i was using the dye my hair came out from here around here so i trimmed it i mean i keep it trimmed and everything i gotta get this to come back right here so anyway um so yeah that's on my agenda for today so far so i really kind of had a taste for um bubble tea so i was going to get bubble tea but then i kind of have a taste for this matcha the way that this girl was saying get like a shot of blonde espresso y'all know i love espresso I was gonna um, try that, or, I mean, I get bubble tea sporadically, so that's nothing new. But I mean, of course, I haven't tried all the flavors, so I wasn't really sure which one I was gonna do. Um, like, I'm not in the business to be spending a lot of money at Starbucks. I tell y'all that I, all the time. I've been there, done it. But um, I do wanna try the matcha with the blonde espresso in it. I just, I just wanna try it. So, on my agenda, we going basically because like the area that i'm gonna be in is a michael's and a five below right there and then wegman's where i'm going is right there so everything is right there so um let's see okay y'all so we're gonna go to michael's um five below oh five below um Wegmans, Starbucks, or getting bubble tea. Not sure which one. Um, and then the park. 
And this page right here is from my digital journal, Keeping My Life Together. This is for all my digital girls and all my digital women who just love digital. Like me, I'm a digital person. I barely even have $1 bill on me, which is horrible. I'm like an Apple Pay person, you know, all of that. So, yeah, I'll put my website on the screen so you can check it out. But, yeah, it's very handy, very convenient, very secure. So, yeah, this is the list. This is where we're going, and then I'm going to chill right here. Y'all just made it to five below. It's my first stop. So get the um canvases. I'm not getting nothing else in here. And I do gotta get a couple paint brushes when I go to Michaels because I did bring my one good one that I bought from Michaels. But like I told you on the last video, those other ones are just too cheap and flimsy. So we're gonna see. They even have the really, really big ones too. That's only one though. See how big that one is? And then all right y'all so i'm out of five below and it's so crazy because it was so crowded in there and the poor guy the poor guy was working by himself he was so nice though and i was asking him about the trending table because i know all of y'all seen the trending speaker table from five below from tiktok but um he said every time they come in they sold out that thing sounds really really good it sounds really crisp just like um you know like your amazon speakers and everything so yeah um I don't know if they would have had it i probably would have bought it even though i don't really need it but i think i would have bought it just because the sound of it so now next stop is michael's so y'all they had a really good sale on a paint it was buy one get one um 50 off the the one the paint that i got i only had um three colors but yeah not bad so it was like four dollars and fifty cent which was 50 percent off and then um i had a coupon too y'all i just got to wegman's and at first it wasn't that hot out here but um it was like well it's 80 something degrees and it was like a little breeze but now it's like the humidity you know it's getting up there so anyway um i have some ice in my um in my thermic thermic cup but anyway i think i'm gonna get a cup of ice and of course something else to drink i brought a water from five below which i should have brought more than one because it was like 50 something cent um, I need it for um, the paint brushes, but shit, I wanted to drink too. So I'm getting a drink in here also. So yeah. So let's see. It's a certain one that I want. Let me find it. I think this is it right here. Is this spicy? drink right here try this y'all made it to the park um it's a lake actually i've been here before it's so super serene so serene so i'm trying to see um they have seats and everything i'm trying to see because i have my blanket i'm trying to see exactly where do i want to sit at um hmm Cause there's a trail. How did she get over there? I don't know if I, if it's worth walking all the way over there just to sit right there. I can kind of sit right there. I don't know, but um, let's figure it out. And can y'all believe that I had um, I had my Wegman's bag right here on my on the chair, right, and I had one down here. Literally gets in the store and realize that I don't have my bag and have to buy a bag. Like I don't. That shit is wasting money. Let me see how much. How much did the bag cost anyway? Oh, it was five cent. <laughs> okay, I don't feel bad. Oh my goodness, he is beautiful. Is that a girl or a boy? Oh my gosh, that's a um a, a doodle or something, right? 
see everybody with them. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Look how he looking at. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me find some way I'm gonna sit. So, yeah, I'm gonna sit right here. It's like behind people's houses. Like they have a really nice view out their patio, just looking at the lake. So I'm about to eat my sushi. I got raw sushi this time. Um, spicy tuna volcano rolls. When I saw the jalapenos on there, I wanted it. Cause y'all know I love hot. I'm trying to figure out what did I do with the chopsticks. Oh, here they go. Yeah, so at first I was gonna bring my little cooler, but then I was just like, for what? Cause I wasn't really bringing a bunch of food. I had cleaned it out and everything, but I have an ice pack inside of this bag. Flimsy tripod. That thing is flimsy. the jalapenos oh yeah and I brought that matcha drink that I showed y'all come on now I should have brought bug spray yeah, so I brought that, and um, I'm gonna see how that tastes. Mm -mm -mm. And I gotta show y'all the paint that I brought. I really want to sit on the other side. It was like a couple that um went and sat in the seat where I was going to sit at. So, hopefully, because they was there before I came. So, maybe once they leave. Mm-hmm. Right here. Okay, coconut milk is in here. I taste the coconut milk. Not bad. Y'all know me. I love to try new stuff. That's why I love Wegmans because even though that might not be new, but this is my first time trying it. But I love Wegmans because you always find new stuff. So um, my canister, the ice is still in here. So that's good. I also bought this one too, y'all. Y'all know this one of my favorites. I bought this. And then out the house, I had bought um, Crystal Light. So, let me show y'all the paint. So, okay, I bought this paint, black and gold. And y'all already know I had to get pink. So, it was buy one, get one, half off. But then I had a coupon. So, we're going to calculate later on exactly how much I spent today. Because y'all know my goal was never to spend too much. <clears throat> um... I brought this paintbrush and then I brought this paintbrush so oh look at these flies I cannot oh my hands are so ashy yeah I bought these two where's my lotion I 
I got to find my lotion. So this paint, right? Y'all gonna hear me talking? Just ignore me. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, it be looking a little weird to some people. But <laughs> but this paint right here is way better than that Five Below paint. Like, you can just tell the difference in the quality. Like, you can tell the difference. You see how, like I said, this is, um like I showed y'all, this is um our acrylic paint. Then they had the oil paint. And then I didn't even know that they had, like, different stages. Like, level one painter level two painter things like that i never paid that no attention but um again this is another picture that i printed off google and this is so cool but we gonna see we gonna see how it turn out yeah y'all so um i'm about to draw the people and <laughs> i just don't know how this is gonna go but this is so therapeutic like even though this water is very murky you know lakes very murky and green but it's just the whole scenery is just beautiful i like i said i was here before um one of my old videos my thumbnail was here because i was here um and yeah i forgot to i had to um buy my favorite um one of my favorite chips from wagamans when i was in there but um i didn't get a chance to make it to to get bubble tea but this right here is pretty good and um i like it actually i need to pour it in my cup because it would just taste so much better if it was like cold yeah there's a lot of people out here you know just um walking around on their bikes oh yeah this ice is still icing um bikes and just you know walking and stuff like that so beautiful It tastes so much better, um, like cold, cold. But I hope y'all are enjoying these solo diaries because basically I'm just trying to inspire somebody somewhere. Even though people should already know you don't need to be around a whole bunch of people to have fun. But some people probably still believe that. So I'm trying to give you some ideas of things that you can do alone that you won't really feel alone depending on your mindset because that's a mindset. But you know, it's so many things that you can do, you know, being outdoors by yourself and you can still feel a part of the world in a sense you don't have to be at a party at a club you don't have to be drinking you don't have to do any of that i don't know any of y'all if y'all are new um i have not drank any type of alcohol since 2015 um i used to love wine because to me wine tastes just like juice but that's a whole nother story but yeah ever since 2015 i do not miss none of that like i would never go back even though they say never say never but i just don't even once you free your mind of things it's official you know once you set your mind um to certain things that you are or not gonna do it's official point blank period so um yeah like i like to do things like this just to you know not just be always in the house or the, i don't want to feel like i need to be around somebody else to have fun or to be productive and all of that so again that's why i'm trying you know, not trying, but I'm doing these solo diaries just to give somebody somewhere some type of hope where you don't feel like you have to be doing the absolute most just to be doing something, you know? And of course, you know, the first two episodes, I'm calculating how much I'm spending because I want to let y'all know you don't need a whole bunch of money to do little small activities every day. Because once upon a time in my mind, I thought that I needed to have all of this money to be out and to literally have fun. But that was my past life. Now I know better. But some people do not know better. You do not need a lot of money. But of course, like I said, when I come out the house, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Yes, all of that. So I'm going to buy something to eat. I'm going to buy something to drink. But you don't have to do the absolute most. So later on, um, at the end of this episode, I'm going to calculate how much I spent. So that y'all will know that again you do not need to do the absolute most but let me try to see if i can draw this because like i said i've been finding these on google y'all all you got to do is find like a picture um you could just um type in 
sketch drawings, see it, blow it up on your phone, screenshot it, print it out. That's it. y'all do y'all see this i think i'm a fake artist like literally i think i'm a fake artist here go the picture again yeah i had to try to fix all up in here but yeah i think i am a fake artist oh yeah and remember when i told y'all i couldn't find my inner souls remember if y'all been watching me been watching me um a couple vlogs ago i went to the podiatrist and i had to get um prescription inner soles which they feel so good inside of crocs oh my goodness like crocs is already feel good but yeah they they just feel good period but i couldn't find them for like over a month and they were in my black crocs i don't even know why i didn't even see them but anyway because i haven't worn them in a long time but yeah um i found i found them today so yeah i put them in my crocs because according to my podiatrist i supposed to be wearing them a lot it's so beautiful back here so beautiful so y'all had to make a quick pit stop um one of my old co-workers had passed away like last week or so and um i had almost forgot that her viewing is today i wasn't gonna come but just out of respect because of the fact we work side by side um you know just for a short time i just felt compelled to come and pay my respects even though i'm not even really dressed appropriate i mean it's not a funeral it's just a viewing but y'all know i wear next to nothing shorts tank tops all of that so anyway it's not even about that i'm just gonna go in here and pay my respects but boy was the drive here a lot it was a lot i don't know where the hell my navigation had me in the back of the backwoods okay but anyway so y'all i'm walking um in a spot to get some bubble tea and i gotta show y'all my shirt because i wore the wrong shirt on this hot humid day my my shirt literally is like falling apart like you know it's a faux leather fox leather fake leather whatever the hell you want to call it yes i could not believe it so when i left out of the viewing um which i have been driving for so long but to y'all it was a blink of an eye but um yes oh shit yeah so when i left out of the viewing um i looked down when i put my seatbelt on and i'm like what in the hell i'm telling you if i would have saw my shirt was like that before um, I went, I wouldn't have never even went in the viewing. I, I just went and never went in there. Like, you know how that can go. Like, oh my goodness, I was looking like, what in the hell happened? It was the sun. So this flavor I got is coffee, some type of coffee. I told her I went to works, whipped cream. You know, they call the bubbles the pearls. Um, Something else you put in here. I don't know what, I said the works, the works, so. Mm. I swear these bubble it was like chewing bubble gum oh my gosh okay y'all so I made it back home I took off my shirt because it's trash I'm gonna show y'all really quickly <sighs> I wonder, really, I don't care, honestly. I'm not just saying that. I really don't care, but, um, yeah, like, this is crazy that this, well, it's not. For one, it wasn't the type of weather that I should have been having this on anyway, but it was only, like, 80-something degrees, but where I was at, the humidity. So, you see how this, look at that. And I couldn't find this shirt for, like, three months. I was looking for it, like, dang, where's that little fake faux fox, whatever you want to call it, leather tank top type and i literally found it this morning because it was on my hanger underneath of another shirt so now it's trash but um 
a fake artist with a fake faux fox leather shirt. So anyhow, I had went back to Wegmans, which I didn't show y'all, because I wanted to get just a couple things um, before I came in the house. And of course I didn't, you know, I couldn't have this stuff sitting in my car while I was out. Will you watch it? Please, before he gets stepped on. So I had got two boxes of these. These are so good. These are so, if you are a potato person and a cheese person, this is it. They are so good. And then I had got two of these. The, um, these scallion pieces. Wait, oh my did you say so. scallions? What in the world is you reading? Sicilian. Y'all see everything that's on there. Let me read it. Mozzarella cheese sauce, seasoned vegetables, grilled peppers, red onions, and spicy chili oil. So I have been craving these pieces. They only sell this at Wegmans. So, and then I had got, um, please watch it before he get stepped on. And I got some eggs. Oh, and I got some bananas, and I love to get bananas from there because these bananas, I mean, bananas is bananas, but this was these were only like 73 cents. You cannot beat the price of their bananas, but everything else is too much. But, oh, yeah, and I got some caramel macchiato. So, okay, y'all, so I have out my digital workbook. Y'all, If y'all watched the last two episodes of Solo Diaries and you've seen this before, every day when I come out the door, I'm always buying something because I'm always thirsty or hungry. So I calculate, you know, what I'm spending. So anyway, we're going to do it again today. So my goal is never to do too much. That's that's just, you know. So, okay, five below. Okay, so this is where we're at. And I already um calculated all of this, but... I'm just going to do it again. Five below, I spent $5.93. $5 um, Michael's, I spent $17.77. Mind you, that was on the paint and the two brushes. Um, I got gas, which y'all didn't see that. And I'm all, I'm, call me 20 because I'm always putting 20 in my tank. Um, okay, so the first time I went to Wegmans when I bought the sushi oh shoot let's see i spent 23 dollars and 59 cent i bought what the sushi a what did i buy another water from there yeah a water two juices chips anyway then i went to wegmans again which y'all did not see because i had to wait until i was you know about to go home i spent 32 dollars and 98 cent and then i went to get the bubble tea that was $7.37. So, all of that's right there. Let me erase that. Okay, so today, so far, I spent $105. Not, no, so far. is This is it. $105.80 is what I spent today. Today's Friday. Okay, so, not bad. But, like, I included the other you know, trip to Wegmans. Really, I didn't have to because I didn't have anything to do with this video. But yeah, so if you want to subtract that, you know, I didn't even spend a hundred dollars. So yeah, just so yeah, y'all. I'm going to end this episode of Solo Diaries because I'm literally about to take a shower. Remember, I was at a funeral home. I don't know. That don't set well with me. I'm about to take a shower. Even though I was in and out, it does not matter. I still was there. Um, but my old coworker, she looked very beautiful. Very beautiful. Um, you know how sometimes people, when they transition, you know, funeral homes, some, they just don't do a good job. She looked very beautiful. Um, you know, I just feel so sad for her daughter because she has an only child just like me. Um, and she always would talk about her daughter when we were at work all the time. It almost felt like I knew her daughter because she would talk about her so much. So I just did not want to really feel sad, but I felt like I had to pay my respects. We worked side by side. I had to pay my respects. But anyway, yeah, but ugh, I didn't want to get sad in this video. But yeah, that is like so sad because I'm thinking it was like uh, something that happened all of a sudden, you know. Um, I don't know. Like, she just looked beautiful, though. But I was in and out so fast, the cameras probably didn't catch me. I really do not like being in funeral homes, but I, I will always go to pay my respects if it's somebody that I felt, you know, just had a special place you know what i mean like i said we work side by side like it's just it's just so sad but anyway i'm gonna take a shower i had just put these in the oven and 
I made um, a pot of cabbage two days ago, so I'm gonna eat the rest of that and this. And who knows what the rest of the day, cause it's still early. It is 7.10, so I don't know. I might even leave back out, but right now I'm getting in the shower. So thank you so much for watching. Please do not hesitate to subscribe, leave a comment, all of that. Like, um, And thank you for anybody that brought my digital journal and my digital workbook. I definitely have to say that. It's very beneficial. It's very secure. It's very digital. You know, go digital. If you're a digital person, go digital. But thank you so much. I'll see y'all in the next episode.